Are there any good teams in the NFL? That's the question I try to answer every week at sharpfootballanalysis.com. And the answer is increasingly becoming no. We've lost the 49ers from those ranks. Those 49ers had been through five weeks, the elite team. They had been the team that had stepped up every week. They got that massive win over the Cowboys. Since they've now lost two games, including a pretty bad loss against the Vikings on Monday night. Brock Purdy has looked a lot more like a seventh round pick than the all conquering Titan he had been early in his career. And this nearly unprecedented run of offensive success that they had had dating back to last season with Purdy at quarterback has come crashing down in the last two weeks. It has been a sharp fall from grace for the 49ers who this week have the Bengals on tap, another tough game for them and have to be looking in their rearview mirror at the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks defense has been playing extremely well since Reek Woolen returned from injury and they look like a real threat in that division. That said, the 49ers are still fourth in my power rankings. They are still a very good team. You have institutional faith in that roster in Kyle Shanahan. They're going to be fine. They're going to make the playoffs and they're going to be they're going to be a team to reckon with for sure. But this has been a this has been a shocking two weeks given what we saw from them in week five against the Cowboys. Replacing them at number one is the Kansas City Chiefs, probably a team we expected to be at the top of the power rankings at the beginning of the season. They were my team at the top of the power rankings in the preseason. You know, it hasn't always been the most convincing in their wins, but since that Lions loss, they're unblemished. They have a big win, just got a big win against the Chargers. They're in complete command of that division. They have a few more kind of challenging games left on the schedule, but this team should be able to pretty much cruise in the playoffs and be ready for exactly what we expect out of Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid when it comes to January. The real team that we need to talk about here coming out of week seven is the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have had an up and down start to the season. They had a bad loss to the Colts. They lost to the Steelers. And the offense, the new offense under Todd Monken, hasn't always been firing on all cylinders. I, I described it as it seemed like in some games, especially that loss against the Colts, they were sleepwalking to some degree. That changed against the Lions. Lamar Jackson was amazing. The offense scored 28 points in the first half. They absolutely dominated a Lions defense that had to that point in the season been very good. A Lions defense that limited the Chiefs back in week one, albeit without Travis Kelsey. They absolutely demolished them. Even through adversity, the Ravens defense has been playing well so far this season. One of the best defenses in the league. The offense looks like it may have turned a corner. We need to see it for more than one week. And if this Ravens offense is this good and their defense, especially if they can get healthier, continues to play this way, this team is a real threat for the Super Bowl. This is the team that we hoped for. This is the team that the Ravens wanted to see after they made the offensive coordinator change, not just relying on defense and getting by on offense an offense that was explosive, like what we saw from the Ravens in Lamar Jackson's MVP season. This was a glimpse of it. They have another great matchup this week against the Cardinals to build on that. And if this Ravens offense is this good, the Ravens are a real threat for the Super Bowl, a real threat in this AFC, and it's going to be difficult to, for any team to beat them. Check out the rest of my power rankings, my thoughts on all 32 teams over at sharpfootballanalysis.com.